So what are we doing here? <laughs> you want to talk? Uh, we're making applesauce. Oh. Wow. This is the last can. Yeah. We got these jars waiting to go in the canner. Well, today Rachel and Rebecca and my friend Sarah Franklin and Eve Cartwright uh, helped pick beans and shelled some out for seed and to eat later this winter. And then we canned some, we're canning some applesauce and my little sisters here, my little sisters in Christ are helping me and we are putting them in the canner. And so uh, we're not bribing anybody, but um, when you come to help build the Houston Creek House of Prayer, we will like to uh, feed you some homemade applesauce. So uh, we look forward to eating it with you as we build. Jeremiah, can you put those back, please? We need to put those in the box. Okay. All right. Those ones haven't been shelled yet. Yes, these haven't been shelled yet. You can play with those. Those ones there you can play with. But don't play with these, okay? So we're going to try to figure out how many quarts we can get in here. Some of these are spaghetti jars, and they're not a full-size quart. So uh, let's count them. Let's see how many do we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, that might be a little over a quart. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Did you do 23, Rachel? Okay, 24, 25, 26. Scoot them over. If they don't fit, they can move around. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 31. 32. 33. 34. Awesome, and we have one more jar that we need to fill. We were just trying to see what size jar we should use. Oh wow, so it looks like we have room for... That perfect glass yeah. jar. Whoa, beautiful. <laughs> what a bounty. Oh, and these are Gala and Fuji applesauce yes. apples. Yes, I want to thank my little sisters in Christ who've been such a helpful. Um, she has some muscles in there from turning the crank. So it's been boiling now for a little while. Let's open it up and see what we've got. Okay, looks good. So we are gonna pull some out and it's gonna be musical pretty soon. Hold it real tight, we don't want to drop it. Soon you'll go ping, ping, ping. No. Right now the button is pushing up, um, and that's one thing I wanted to notice. He won't hurt him. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that some jars you're gonna like these spaghetti sauce jars. They have a clear button that you can pop, and it'll pop in and out. You can reuse those kind, but uh, there are some jars. That... Jeremiah, let's not make noise there. Okay, we don't want to make noise there. Um, so there's some jars that the button, um, it's kind of hard, isn't it? Cause you got to lift it high. There's some, uh, jars that they don't really have a clear defined button. And so don't, don't try to reuse those, those jars. And like this one doesn't have a ring. Some of those kind doesn't have a clear defined button. 
and sometimes they don't see all right. So you want to try it, Rebecca? They were such a good help uh, today with all this operation. Careful with that dripping water. Yeah, we used to can between three to 500 quarts a year back when I was still living at home. And uh, I always enjoyed it. Mom would, anything to do with a knife and cutting, I always enjoyed it. We would do, we usually be do between like 200 to, between 100 to 200 quarts per day. Wow. We would put the apples in the bathtub to wash them. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> yeah. We can wash quite a few at a time. We put a, like a couple bushels at a time in the bathtub. Yes, very hot. Mommy. Well, it's almost Sabbath. So we're trying to get these done and out before Sabbath. We have been working six days and now we are ready to rest on the seventh. think of Genesis 2, 2, and 3. And on the seventh day God ended his work, his work which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work, his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made Genesis 2 2 and 3 some people say that the seventh day Sabbath is Jewish but God made the Sabbath and rested from the work that he did before there ever was a Jew. And Jesus said the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. This uh, pocket knife uh, was made for me, and it's a very useful tool. So the Sabbath was made for us, for mankind, and it is a special blessing. Many people are mentally, physically, and spiritually sick because they don't take a Sabbath day to rest with their Creator. Okay, I'll leave it to you girls to get the recipes out. When you get done with this, then uh, just put the lid back on it. All right, thank you. Is it fun, Rebecca? <laughs> I think you like doing it. You can go over to this other side. Since the other ones are over here. That's a brown bottle, so it just looks different. Yep. It's a pretty nice canner, huh? Oh, there's still more. Rachel, your watermelon smells delicious. You all right? Very 
Very good. Is that all of them? One more. 